This is exactly what it looks like. This is my Nintendo Switch hooked up to a portable gaming monitor, powered by nothing but a portable power bank. This is by far the ultimate portable Switch setup. Today's video is gonna be on something rather different. I've been playing a hell of a lot of Nintendo Switch recently. This company reached out to me. This is a sponsored video. They asked me to do a review on their portable gaming monitor. So this is the G-Story GS156WT 1080p 60 Hertz portable monitor. And my God, is this thing stunning. This obviously isn't limited to the Switch. You can use this with any console. The Switch is just a really good example because it's a portable console. So although you can plug your PS4 and Xbox into this thing and you can just power this out of the USB from the PlayStation, you're probably not gonna be playing PlayStation portably on a train. So this thing has a 15.6 inch touchscreen display with HDR. The whole thing is running USB-C and it's metal and it's aluminium, so it feels very modern. They definitely haven't sort of cut any corners on that. The box is pretty Chinese. It does actually have, you know, Chinese writing covering it. Um, if we take a look on the back, you can see the resolution is 1920 by 1080, although it does have support from 480p all the way up to 4K. So if you wanted to use this, you know, with your laptop or if you wanted to use it with a 4K camera as a sort of camera monitor, you totally can. It does have a speaker built in. It doesn't really sound too fantastic. It's definitely louder than the Switch speaker, but it also has a headphone port, so you can you know, use this with some headphones, making it a bit more portable. So one thing that is really nice is they've included this nice sort of laptop looking pouch with a little pocket in the front. It is really important that you power this thing sufficiently. So I'm gonna be using a portable power bank that has the capabilities to power this thing, but this thing requires anywhere between five to 20 volts of power. So your old USB plug sockets that just, you know, take a USB from an old iPhone or whatever, that isn't gonna be sufficient and you will get some sort of power issues from this. It's really nice that obviously that they've included this pouch so you can just sort of chuck everything into the case and then you have this fully portable sort of setup that you can just take around with you, plonk down, get your screen out, get your controller out. Um, I'm gonna be using a pro controller for this and then just play Nintendo Switch using a beautiful display. Um, it comes with a nice sort of cover for it just to protect the screen, which also does act as a kickstand. So you just sort of turn it around like that. It's got magnets on the back of it and then you just prop it up. On this side, you have a little sort of uh, volume wheel that also acts as your menu button. And then on this side, you have the different inputs. So this is a audio output two USB type C that can act and take both video and power, power in and power out. You've got a micro or mini HDMI um, and it does come with all of these sufficient cables to be plugging this thing in. So it does include this sort of gold plated mini HDMI cable as well as a micro USB um, input. So if you wanted to use micro USB from your power bank, you can do that as well. It's got the speakers on the bottom as well as some rubber pads and that's pretty much your lot. Talking quickly about price, this thing is 170 pounds, which is quite expensive. Obviously it is quite an expensive thing. You've just forked out $300 on your Switch, you're probably not gonna wanna fork out another 200 on this, but this doesn't just have the application for a Nintendo Switch. As I said, you can use it as a portable extension to your laptop display. You can just use the HDMI cable and the USB cable supplied, plug both of those into your laptop and just take, take this with you. And that is a truly portable display that allows you to have a lot more real estate when you're editing or whatever you're doing. So if I plug the USB type A to USB C into my portable power bank, that will then power this thing sufficiently. And then if I plug the USB C cable into the bottom of my switch and then the other end, into the side of the monitor. There we go, just like that. And then if I use my Pro Controller, which I've recently reshelled, and I've also recently reshelled my Switch, we're pretty much ready to go. And just like that, we're off. Now, this is touchscreen, although it isn't gonna work with your Switch. I think the touchscreen only works with Windows, so that's something to know. And also, it will work with your phone. So if you plug your Samsung into this thing, you can you know, use your phone touchscreen as you would. Um, 
There's absolutely zero latency. As it said on the box, this thing is 60 hertz. So yeah, look at that. You're literally playing completely portably um, Breath of the Wild on my Nintendo Switch. And as I mentioned, you know, you can use this with your laptop or PlayStation or Xbox, whatever you fancy. Really, really cool little thing. Um, I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of it. I probably, I'm gonna get more use out of it with my laptop than with my Switch because um, for the most part of this, I'm just gonna use the Switch on its own or when I'm home, I'll plug it into my, you know, my bigger television or what have you. Um, but yeah, as for portable laptop editing, it's a bloody lovely thing to have. There's not really a lot else to say, to be honest with you. The quality of it speaks for itself. Um, the weight of it is very premium feeling. Um, yeah, it's a lovely thing. It's just hard to sort of justify spending a load of money on what is essentially just an accessory to the Switch. It's not a necessity. Um, it's not gimmicky. That is definitely clear. It's obviously a very functional product. I did have quite a lot of issues with power before I got the power bank. Um, I just wasn't given it enough power, so it wasn't sort of uh, working and functioning properly. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd really be interested to hear. Um, I'm gonna 100% get a lot of use out of this thing. I'm always really transparent with my videos. This obviously has been paid, and also this video will be sent to this company for review before it goes public, but there really isn't a lot else to say. There's no flaws, there's no manufacturing flaws, there's no faults with it. It's, it does exactly what it says it does on the tin, and it does it very well. I really enjoyed using this thing with my laptop. Honestly, that was probably, I'm probably gonna get more enjoyment out of that, as I said. This isn't the only thing that G-Story make. They also sent me a um, classic mini console, sort of portable. It's really cool, it was 120 pounds. Definitely not something that I would personally buy. If you guys wanna check out G-Story, I'll leave all of the links below so you can go ahead and check them out. If you wanna pick this thing up on Amazon, there will be affiliate links in the description below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one, peace.